Hey guys, so today we're using the one Revlon One Step Pro Styler, I believe that's what it's called. And I'm just going to go ahead and get into showing you how to do this. So you want to go ahead and go by the section. You want to take the entire section and just put it like literally inside the brush. And you just want to start rotating it. I was just watching someone, um, I think her name was like Mimi or something like that. Um, and she was just brushing it through and she was like, it's taking too long. And she, she was also cooling it on, doing it on cool. So I'm not doing my hair on cool. I'm not getting rid of my curls on cool. I'm doing it with heat because I want it to actually go. I don't want it to stay curly. I want it to become straight. But in this, you want to make sure that you're rotating the brush. The brush should never leave your head. If the brush is leaving your hair, that's that's air that's going away. You want all the air to always be concentrated on your hair. You want to make sure you're pulling it so that you can get the roots. So you want to make sure you're pulling it, pulling the entire brush down, and you want to make sure you're rotating it, you know, in the direction of up. You want to collect the hair into the brush, never lose that air, and you wanna just keep going. This is very easy and simple to do. So you wanna make sure that you keep doing this in this motion, it's very easy. All you have to do is brush it down. She said it was matted and everything and she felt like she couldn't get anything, but clearly you could see that that dried all the way through to my scalp. Um, and the, and you don't have to worry about that middle section that you see there because this is doing the entire back. We want to make sure we're doing the section, okay? We need to make sure that it's flat. And you can clearly see that I'm getting everything, okay? I didn't, I didn't have any issues with it getting to where it needed to be. But you're not going to worry about the middle, we're just going to go ahead and go to the next section, and I'm going to speed it up. You also want to make sure that your hair is super wet. You don't want your hair to be without water. If your hair is without water, it's going to be hard. It's going to give you worse results when it comes to drying. Your hair is going to not have anything that it needs, okay? And I'm just letting you know that it's not going to have the bounce. It's not going to have flow. It's not going to have anything. Okay, so we're just going to keep going here. Now you see where I'm at the middle. You see how I'm just getting that middle part, but the brush is constantly going. There's no way your hair can get matted if you're consistently brushing it out as it dries. There's no way you're going to be able to get that. You have to know that, okay? That is something that you have to do, okay? Because if you don't want matting, you don't want that while drying, you need to brush your hair. That's the whole point of having a whole bunch of bristles on a brush is you have to brush your hair while you're drying it. That's all completely on you. And if you don't understand it, that's your fault. Go under as well to make sure that you're getting everything. This is gonna be more observed on um, in the other parts of the video, on the other sections, I mean. And um everything is done nathan be careful oh my goodness and then um so sorry about that y'all my son slamming the dryer so here as you can see i am still rotating it and you can see my hair is straightening but it's not dry it's up to the brush you know the bristles on the brush to make your hair straight so you have to continuously keep rotating it as you can see here underneath i had to lift my hair and get the curls underneath but as i pull away you can see my hair literally getting straighter and straighter all the way down to the root so if you have problems with this nine times out of ten you're doing it very very wrong okay you're doing it wrong not the device not the thing, especially if so many people are saying it. And so this is my curls again. You saw it was it was super wet. I have water like going down the side of my face. You want to make sure that your hair is wet. That is the best way for the transition. I did miss some pieces 
um, here and you're, that's going to show later on, that's going to show, I'm going to show you how we can tell that I missed some pieces to dry and that it dried just by being in the air alone. It's going to show. But even here, I had to go underneath. And as I go underneath, I'm going to pull up. I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. And as I pull up, guess what happens? Hair ends up being straight. So, it's really all you guys up in your hands. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know how to do it, I'm showing you how to do it here, okay? But don't go making videos saying that it doesn't work. Because it does work. But you have to understand, what about your knowledge? What about your ignorance? Like, am I coming for you or am I coming for you, okay? What about your ignorance? But see these areas that, that is not moving, the ones that's sticking up that was in the back? That right there, that wasn't dry. That just wasn't dry. But the rest of it is dry. And this is where your bounce come from. You see all the bounce that's happening? This bounce comes from blow drying. It does not come from the flat iron. All of the bounce, all of the movement comes from how well you blow dry your hair. And you can see all the way through to my scalp just from blow drying it so stay tuned you guys keep watching subscribe and use this revlon brush bye